the Obama people are for war. Didn't well, that, haven't they proven that to you? Well, we How many times like can you be suckered in by these people? No ground I used to be suckered in by the GOP until I said they're both parts of the same criminal gang. And I'm not going to be a shill for either one of them. Yeah, Don't I, I, have less, I have less issues with libertarian than I do. We are basically just touring the country to do events just like this where every single speaker on the list is uh, kind of tying to the central theme of nullification and uh, the ability of we the people to tell the federal government no when they step outside of their uh, carefully defined box, uh, which they have done quite often. It is the solemn duty of the state governments to protect their own authorities and to interpose between their citizens and arbitrary power. These are among the objects for which the state governments exist. We are in a war, and the war is a war of words. It's not necessarily a war of weapons in the traditional sense, but we have modern weapons that we can use in this war. This keyboard right here is a weapon, folks. Some of you know how to use it well. Some of you are just getting started, but everyone can participate in this war using just that tool alone. Now can you imagine if the articles that are going to come out about this event, some of them are going to be attacking what we are talking about here. Some of them are going to say things like, you know, maybe we hate brown people. Or maybe we are just trying to uh, secede from the Union, which is not the purpose of nullification. Every person in this room were to set up Google News alerts and were aware when this type of article hits the internet. And every single one of you leaves a comment setting the record straight, then every single one of those attack pieces suddenly becomes a valuable educational tool. And that's the kind of thing we need to do to win this war. What I would say is we'll probably disagree on guns and health care and maybe the EPA. But we'll, 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 we'll,
Wisconsin can't pick and choose. Wisconsin's got to return those runaway slaves to their masters. Is that what the protesters would have been saying in 1858? Hey, Wisconsin, you can't pick and choose. Sorry, sorry, sir, you've got to go back to your master. Is that what they would have said? Yes. Well, I'm, you know, it's a rhetorical question. <laughs> They've got to ask themselves questions like this. And if they're expecting to hear questions like this in their third grade classroom, they got another thing coming. Nobody gets taught stuff like this. What do we all get taught? Well, the states are evil and stupid, which, you know, let's face it, many of them are. <laughs> but that anybody who wants to assert state authority against the federal government is obviously a perverse idiot who wants to bring back slavery and oppression. That's what you get in school. I don't blame these people for believing that at, at some level. I'd be shocked if they believed anything else. What I blame them for is persisting in this ignorance when information to the contrary is abundantly available all around you. Nullification is a valid, a practical, and a traditional solution. And uh, it makes much more sense than trying to send people to Washington, D.C. and trying to take the federal government to court, particularly take the federal government to federal court, because none of those things make sense. They've been tried time and time again. And uh, that this is a, an approach that actually does bear results. We want individuals to liberate themselves, to simply choose freedom. We want to encourage people and remind them that you need not ask permission in order to live as free, sovereign individuals. In many instances, you can just make that leap and actually live free, even if it might be illegal, because, of course, something that's in contradiction to natural law, to God's law, is no law at all. So that's part of the message. All right. Refuse to comply and live free. Now just one month ago, I was giving a presentation in California, and I said on the stage, it just popped out of my mouth, that I was dedicating myself to living, princi living a principled life, and that I was not going to do anything I was uncomfortable with. Now, John and I had just found out that we are going to be having our first child, which is really exciting. Yeah. And on the way home from that event, that I just got done speaking for an hour about fusion centers and police states, I was selected to go through the body scanner. And I said, no, I declined. My doctor said I should not. I'm not going to go through the body scanner. And after two hours of negotiation, they brought in the head of security back from home. I talked to dozens of TSA agents as well as five different police officers. Every single person I talked to agreed that it was wrong, but it was their job. And they would not let me on the plane without having hands in my pants and a hand go all the way up my leg to my torso. Okay, so my choices were be radiated or violated, right? And you know what? John and I took the train home. for two extra days. It cost us extra money. I lost one of my part-time jobs because of it. But I made a decision that I don't want my child to look back at my actions before they come into this world and to resent me. I want my child to know that I'm doing everything in my capability to stop this now. And if my state reps won't listen, I'll be the other one. If my city council reps won't listen, then I'm done talking and I'm going to start acting and I'm going to step and I'm going to walk the walk every single day and I'm going to refuse to back down just because someone in a badge or who has been elected by supposedly free people tell me that I have to behave a certain way. So I want to do something a little uncustomary real quick before I step down because we're in a really neat place. And there are actually multiple people here in this room right now that have made the choice to not back down when confronted with a badge and a gun when they were doing what they felt was right for freedom and for themselves and for their morals. And so I would like anybody who has been arrested or detained or otherwise abused by the state while doing something in the line of duty of activism to please stand up for a round of applause because you are the true American patriots that are living right now today. <laughs> wide movement that's that's catching on with average folks. 
Well, I think that if we became a non-armed nation, is that the concept? That we have no big guns or anything anymore? What would no you, government? Would you not be aggressive? Right. Would you come after I me with really a gun? I really like the concept. You know, the John Lennon thing. Right. I imagine it. I can't live it. Well, I, I, we've already we, we've already established that the real problem is that you don't trust yourself to be moral and you feel like you have to be forced and you project that onto all of us. But I feel that I can be moral without having to be forced. And that's what I'd like to try to do, even if monastery. I fail occasionally. You belong in a monastery. Would you come after us with a gun if we chose not to fund these war endeavors or the, any other, the EPA or anything else that you think is a vital government function? Because I want to be free to live my life and, and keep my property and my wealth I accumulate and spend it how I wish, donate it where I wish, and not be forced at the barrel of a gun to, to fund these programs I don't agree with morally. Well, there are other countries for you. I mean, people so I, now I have to move. So are you? Do you think every law that's on every piece of legislation on the books is moral? You no, should no, abide by. I mean, really, if you don't, if you if you really want to take it to an extreme moral precept, you know, like that, I really won't give a nickel if I think that this nickel is going to bomb Afghanistan. Sure. I, I can respect that. Yeah. But unfortunately, the United States was here first. And the United States is here. It's, with it's a piece of paper, man. It's a piece of paper. England you, was here first. Would you tell the, we kicked them out. Would you tell the North Korean people that they have to live under the oppression they live under because the North Korean well, government I, I dictates think that? There's, that? A, there's a difference between gray, you know. No, white there's and not. Black, and there's force like, is like force, a, man. Uh, force is force. It doesn't matter. I, I really think that you're living in a very happy place that isn't real. Yeah, possible. I choose to be free and responsible for my actions. I am happy with how I live my life, and I wish other people would quit trying to tell me otherwise. In the world, and people could be far enough away from each other. People? Huh? No, no, no. You going no. first? No, no. What I'm saying is I wish that the population density was low enough that it could be like Montana, and I, I think I got a neighbor over there, maybe one over there. That'd be fine. Then I totally agree with you. We know it's not right to beat each other up right now or, sh or shank each other for our waltz, not because it's on a piece of paper, but because we know how to treat people. But we would start, like, I want to go to sleep, okay? Could you keep an eye on my stuff while I sleep? Oh, look, I started an organization. Sure, you know? but it's, if, as long as it's voluntary, as, as long as you're not forcing me to pay for something that I don't want to pay for. I don't, like, you're, the schools are the All right, but you really, I, 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 this, I'm sorry, this is this, new to me. I didn't know that you would go so anarchy that you would, like, have zip. Let me, let's, let's use the, uh, the schools the situation. The Back the in the day, right, you had kids, I had kids, problem. she don't had kids. Topic. And we had farms, we were busy people. We all didn't have time to educate our children. So it made sense for us to pool our resources and hire a teacher who could full-time teach our children. That made sense, okay? And it worked because I had kids, you had kids, you had kids, and we each were directly responsible for hiring. That's fine, that's awesome. What's wrong is when they got to the point where they said, well, oh, you're not, you don't have kids? Well, you're not contributing your fair share. No, 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 no. Give us the money to support our school or we're going to lock okay. you in a cage. I know, I know, I know what you mean. Yeah, okay. Okay. But, but, but so I think there's a, the there's a but reality answer, after Iron Man. And actually, Iron Man actually took money from the government. She did, yeah, I heard. Yeah, she did. But to answer your question about these things, like, if there's a, there's a great book called The Voluntary City, and they talk about how, for example, if you were a contractor, like, if you bought a plot of land, like, part of that money went towards the infrastructure, you know? And it works different every, everywhere, but they would be, if there's a demand for things, they would be provided. And they would be provided more efficiently and, and at a higher quality than if it's provided via a monopoly like the government, who steals money from people and spends it, you know, they don't have any incentive to spend it as well sure as you we would to spend that, your own that's money. That's where we agree, I think, I'm not sure, is the corporations are too powerful and right. if people were allowed to vote, then governments wouldn't be as but bad as you We say. vote with our wallets and our feet every day and the only reason yeah. these corporations have these, like, the, the government gives them a lot of land or the government subsidizes them or bails them out or something is because government's so big and they steal this money and people grant them this authority. I think what, you rethink that. I think it's that the government... I think we started with a decent government, and I think that very quickly the railroads but, and everything else came in and said, "I gotta elect my buddy, you know, Joe over here, whatever, and I'm gonna put money behind his campaign. Joe's the best. He kisses babies, all this stuff. Gives out a lot of free stuff. Right. And then Joe's in, and the the railroad suddenly gets a free pass to build right. whatever they and want. That's, and that's what government does. Labor. That's what government does. No, that's what no, corporations does. Let me ask you a question. What is a corporation? A corporation is a group of People that get together, they, I don't know, you know, they're, what do you say? Tell me what, tell me what. A, a corporation is a grant right. of power right. from the go government. There. If there's no government, there can be no corporations. Corporations exist as a function of I think government. you're overworking that concept. It's no, not relevant. It's, a fact. it's not important. It's a fact. Well, well, let's, from, from the very first, may, what was the very first I will first tell you about my corporation. I have, 
I make harps. What's okay? the very first and corporation? And we are a corporation. Okay. And I can hire somebody. And mm -hmm. I don't have to go running off and getting like some big dictatum from the, the government that says that, yes, you can have a corporation. No, it's a group of people. If I want to sell apples, if I want to have that, an apple that, orchard, true. and I have other people go out and sell them, they give me half the money or something like okay, that. Those are That's different a types corporation. Of, those are different types of... I didn't require the government to form this corporation. Yes, you do. Uh, I, I, no. <laughs> corporations, yes, are, are grants of power from the government. What you're talking about could be a limited partnership. It could be a lot of other structures, right, a corporation but it's not a corporation. Has the, the, yeah, the features of an individual and all this. I'm not sure exactly where but, I... But the way that when, when you establish a government, you say this group of people has special rights. They have the right to steal money from people. They have the right to do this with land. They have the right and to do this. And they have the right to get voted out. Right. And then when you're, if you're a corporation, if you, you find it more effective rather than being innovative and actually competing and providing a, a, a good or service somebody voluntarily wants to get, you find it more effective to just go lobby the government or buy off a politician or, you know, run your own people because that's a system of authority people believe in. The wealthy uh, control well, everything. Because, what because happens is you wind up with a government of okay. strong, <laughs> that's that's right. Right. I agree. Well, be So how do we not allow the strong and wealthy control things in the government when they claim uh, well, the legitimate right to use right force? Idea. What you what, have what, what, to do is you need to work through the courts, you need it's, to work through the legitimate now, avenues of government. You don't throw the baby out with the bathwater if the bathwater's dirty. You clean it. Well, can, you would you let me it. opt out of that system? The problem it is when people opt out, A, if you opt out of one so, element, you opt out uh, of all of them. Well, there is one great And problem B, there. even more Let's importantly, not forget, I have a corporation 25 years the more now, people who opt out of the system, system the, 20 people, the, the less people the system right works. And I started another company. We need to all stand together. We either all hang together or we all hang separately. Well, don't see, the way I look at it is I think you know better how to run your life than I do. You know where to spend your money. You know what your preferences All right. well, much better say, than I do, much better than yeah. someone in Concord or yeah, DC so does. So why grant these people guidance. authority? I agree. Oh, a guidance is great. Guid but the, the problem is, at some point, you run into a situation that you can't handle alone. Sure, okay. and then you reach out to people. Yeah. You, you but, but I also don't. But think you that don't dismantle the, the format that we've used for uh, I think ge generations before coming up with something better. You come up with something. better. I have something better. Self ownership. You own yourself, man. Don't don't force. Your views on somebody else don't, and I won't do that. I'll do the same. Irony is actually we're actually we're pretty much in agreement on that one. But the caveat is again, you don't dismantle what's working. You change. It hasn't worked. You change. There's millions of people that have died because of this system all over the world, and continue to die. And people who. Are, are priced out of jobs and, and house, and all sorts of things. Like no, there's no, in, there's nothing in our lives that's not touched by this invasive mm -hmm. parasite. I, I like to, I like to paint it as a, a sort of a picture. Um, personally, I think the laws should be as simple as possible. Basically, you should be able to do anything you want to do with another consenting adult, so long as you are not harming a third person's person or property. Done! Right. But, Deal. it's over! How? We agree! How do we protect oh God, Personal accountability. We How? This is the same story. This is the exact same story as this gentleman. I don't trust myself to do the right thing. I, and I am projecting my immorality onto the rest of the world, right? Since I can't trust myself, I certainly can't trust you, and you can't trust yourself, and you can't trust him, you guys can't. I know, because I know what I would do if there were no government to force me to do the right thing. I'd be evil and corrupt and hateful, and I would do these terrible things to people because the government is the only thing that stops me from doing those it's things. Not that you, Come on. It's not that you'd be evil. What would happen, though, is we're governed by enlightened self-interest. Now, enlightens the good part, self-interest not always. What happens if your enlight what happens if your self-interest says that your neighbor's money will look better in your pocket? Okay, so that's mm, stealing. It's, it's very, it's it very short-sighted, and that's not, no, it's it not self-interest. Well, the phrase is enlightened self-interest. Right, ground, and that, but and the problem theft is not a very enlightened concept. But the problem is, you, you, have, you, have, you have a little yeah. theft yeah. of, They're say, saying, you walk up and stick a gun in someone's uh, stomach. That's right. obvious theft. What happens, on the other hand, if a corporation, say, makes a substandard product and then sells it and it injures someone? Or they go out of business. They go out of business. They get sued. Taxes me to form a bureaucracy to protect me from the corporation, and they don't protect me from the corporation anyways. So now I get raped twice. Right. All that means is we need to come up with a way that we can keep someone from hurting you in the first place without putting undue bureaucracy on top of it. 
process. Let's do it. Not granting anybody extra rights. Right. And, but that's, that's the key. Government. But that's the key. We need to figure out a way. You need to figure out a new framework before dumping the old framework. Don't throw away what's almost working in pursuance of that which has not worked yet. I think that's just fear. It may be. It may be. Just have some have some faith in your fellow human beings. I do. I or I have faith. We wouldn't be here if we weren't mostly good. I, I hear you. Ultimately, the Tenth Amendment doesn't say that the states have the powers not delegated to the federal government. It says or to the people, which means that if your state's not doing it, then you can do it on your own. Uh, band together with folks in your community that are tired of having their lives messed with, and you can say no to federal laws at the local level as well. Live free or die, death is not the worst of evil. There is no stronger line, there is no stronger fist, there is no stronger resolve than those words. We live them or we die trying. I thank you for coming so that you can take this message and you can go educate a few of your friends about it. Because that's all it's got. This is a movement of education. Hey. <laughs>